children. I hope you enjoyed our story. And what we're going to do now is we're going to have a little think about some of the scenes from the story. So we're going to look at two different scenes, so two different pictures from the story, two different illustrations. And we're going to have a think about what the characters so we've got Tiger, we've got Mummy, we've got Sophie in the first illustration. And in the second illustration, we've got Mummy. We're going to think about what the characters are thinking and saying in these pictures. So you'll notice in this first picture that I've got here, I've actually got the story just with me. And if we can remember, we've just had the story, haven't we? But this scene is where the tiger drinks all of the tea. So the tiger didn't eat just one bun, he ate all the buns on the dish. And then he ate all the biscuits and all the cake until there was nothing left to eat on the table. So Sophie's mummy said, would you like a drink? And here we are, this is this part of the story. And the tiger drank all the milk in the milk jug and all the tea in the teapot. So here we are. So the tiger is having a lovely time drinking all of the tea straight out of the teapot. And Mummy and Sophie are sitting watching him while he does that. There's nothing left on the table. And what you'll notice is just above the tiger's head here, we've got some little bubbles that lead to a big thinking bubble. And then just by Mummy's head here, we've got some little bubbles that lead right to a great big thinking bubble. And we're going to think about what Mummy and the tiger might be feeling. So I think the tiger is enjoying himself, he's enjoying the tea, and I think it must be rather delicious because he's drinking all of it. So I think in this thinking bubble, I'm going to pretend, because I've got to use my imagination, that the tiger is going to say, yum yum, because I think he's enjoying that tea very much. So I'm going to use my Fred fingers to help me. So yum yum, yum. Yum. But I've got to remember my capital letter to start off my, my uh, sentence in my speech bubble. So the tiger's going to say, yum, yum. Yum, yum. And I might even put an exclamation mark there. Yum, yum. I wonder tea is lovely and hot. I wonder if you might describe the tea. So we've been doing a little bit of work on describing words, haven't we? Making our uh, words interesting when we write them. So I think that he might say yum yum, hot tea. So I'm going to write hot. Let me use my Fred fingers again. Opt. Three sounds. Hot. for me for f or or shut the door hot tea for me okay and there I'm very happy with that bubble so that thinking bubble tells me that the tiger's thinking yum yum hot tea for me so you might think that the tiger is thinking something different to that, and you could write that in your bubble. Now, Mummy is just standing here, like, I think she's looking a little bit worried. She can't believe it, that all the tea is gone. And I think, if that was me, if I was in my kitchen while a tiger was drinking all of my tea, I'd be a little bit worried that I'd run out. So I think Mummy might say something like, or might be thinking something like, oh, I hope I've got some more tea bags. So I'm going to hold that thought in my head. I hope I have got some more tea bags. So I'm going to use a capital I for my thinking bubble. I hope, oh a nice finger space there. I hope that, you press that V at. I hope that I Got 
some more tea bags. Oh no, actually I'm going to struggle a little bit to fit this into my thinking bubble. Tea, e cup of tea, tea bags, but ag. S, or we can hear that plural s on the end. I hope that I've got some more tea bags. So there we are. Let me read the read the thinking bubbles that I've written about this picture. So Tiger, he's thinking, yum yum, hot tea for me. And Sophie's mummy is thinking, oh, I hope that I have got some more tea bags. There. So let's move on to our second picture. And let's find this in the story. So here we've got mum. And this is just after the tiger has said goodbye. He's eaten, drunk everything. He said goodbye. And here we meet Sophie's mummy in the kitchen. Sophie's mummy said, I don't know what to do. I've got nothing for Daddy's supper. The tiger has eaten it all. So we know that that's what the author is telling us that Sophie's mummy is um, saying. But again, we can use our imagination to think, to write down what we think she might be saying and feeling. So here I've got another thought bubble. OK, so I can see the thinking bubbles look coming from Sophie's mummy. So it's just a little bubble there. So I might write a little caption in there, not necessarily a full sentence. I might say something like, oh, she looks shocked. Oh, no. Just something short like that. Oh, no. So I'm going to put my capital. Oh, no. Exclamation mark. But this bubble, you'll notice, is a little bit different. So this bubble looks different because it doesn't have the little thinking bubbles. This one is a speech bubble. Okay, It has almost like a triangle shape at the end here. And then a nice big bubble. And I've got some lines in to help me make my writing really neat. So I'm going to think now about what Sophie's mummy might say. Okay, So she's thinking, oh no. But she might say, what could she say? Let me have a look at the picture and think. It's definitely not the tidy kitchen it was when he arrived. I think she's looking at the mess. Ah, look at the mess. I think mummy might even say it out loud. Look at the mess. I might write that. Look, look. So I'm my special friends, my capital letter. Look, special friends. Oh, look at, look at, at. Look at the, so we've got a red word, mess, it's red mess, m -e -s, special friends, s. look at the mess, look at the mess, and mummy might say out loud what she's thinking about that tiger, I think she might think he was a bit of a greedy tiger because he ate everything, and she's got nothing left, so she might call him a greedy tiger, because we've been thinking about describing words. That greedy tiger has eaten all of the food. That greedy tiger has eaten all of the food. So I'm going to hold that sentence in my head. That, so I need another capital letter. Look at the mess. That greedy tiger. That Greedy, I like that describing word. That's Fred Greedy. G -r e, what can you see? D e. G -r e, D e. Let's have a look at that word when we write it down. That greedy. D, -e. and then it's another e sound, but it's when the y makes e. That greedy tiger. Uh, has eaten all of the food. That greedy tiger has, oh my, not my finger space, has eaten, e cup of tea, eaten all, so the red word, 
all of another red word. And don't let it trick you, remember, because it sounds like a v of, and it's an f of the food, or the red word the. I've got that already up there. That greedy tiger has eaten all of the food. Food. Poo at the zoo. Food. Food. F food. Okay, let me check my sentence. Look at the mess. That greedy tiger has eaten all of the food. Something I need at the end of my sentence. Aha. Uh -huh. Super sentences need four stops. So, I'm really pleased with my speech bubble here. So these are the words that I think mummy would say in the kitchen. And this is what I think mummy's thinking. Oh no, she's got enough jobs to do without having to tidy up the kitchen as well. Has she children? Hasn't she children? So, your job this morning or this afternoon, whenever you're watching this video, is you're going to have a look at the bottom of the plan there's some pictures, some different picture scenes from the story and you'll know you've got the right ones because they've all got either a speech bubble or a thinking bubble on them and there's some different ones to choose from. You can choose to do one, so one picture scene or two, like Mrs Fussy did two, you might want to do three. Okay, so have a little look at the picture, talk about it with your grown-up, what are the characters thinking what are the characters saying okay you can write captions you can use sentences you can use describing words and then if you want to give the year one teachers a treat you could email your work so we can have a look at it so enjoy your work children and i will see you tomorrow for more fun with the tiger who came to tea